What's up, G.I. Dojo? Today we are going to look at Rapid Fire, the Ultimate Commando from the G.I. Joe Hall of Fame series. Uh, now, the Hall of Fame series actually launched sometime around 1990 or 91. Uh, what happened is a Target purchaser, a uh, guy that was like in, in charge of sales for Target, uh, talked to Hasbro and asked them, could they create a new 12-inch G.I. Joe, uh, just like in the 60s? So what they did is they made um, the Target exclusive Duke. I got him in the in the case over there. That's actually the the second iteration, the the wide release Duke, the Target Duke. The head sculpt and the body were a little different. Where's he at? Right there. Uh, but what they did is they took a New Kids on the Block doll. See Jordan Knight there. They took a New Kids on the Block doll, put chocolate chip camo on him and a head sculpt and some gear and they sold him. Uh, now, um, it was a huge, crazy sale success. Uh, you know, it single-handedly launched toy collecting as we know it today um, for all toy lines. You know, G.I. Joe was kind of like, you know, the original uh, collectible toy for adults. Uh, so, the baby boomers felt a lot of euphoria when they bought that Target Duke. When they got home and they took his clothes off and they saw it was a Ken doll body or more correctly, a new kids on the block body, um, they weren't as happy and they started collecting vintage Joes, used vintage Joes from flea markets like this. So that's kind of what happened. Now, it was a huge sales success for Target and Toys R Us tried to capture that lightning in the bottle. See, this is a... Uh, Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, so, you know, they contacted Hasbro. Probably had, I don't know, five or 10,000 of these produced. And uh, I don't think they were a huge success uh, because, you know, the cat was out of the bag. This isn't 60s G.I. Joe. They tried to market it as such, but, um, you know, no dice. So uh, this came out in the second wave of Real American Hero in 93, as you can tell by the cross sell. But Storm Shadow, Gung Ho, Ace, Destro. Uh, here is our file card. If you guys want to pause that and read that. And uh, here's our little blurb, you know, selling you on the fact that this is just like the original G.I. Joe. Fortunately, it's not. But I love these guys. So this is kind of what I grew up with. Four flag points. Let's go ahead and open them up. I've had this guy sitting around the uh, G.I. Dojo War Room or G.I. Dojo Dojo for uh, a couple months. Uh, just been procrastinating about filming this video, but uh, let's open them up. Okay, here is Rapid Fire. I was pleased that his uh, his dog tags actually matched his, his name and code name and stats and all that uh, because um, a lot of times, you know, some of the Hall of Fame figures, they just come with like a second blank tag. Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, here's the helmet. It's actually the uh, tan uh, color, just like the original Duke. They probably had some, you know, overrun in production and, you know, cut wrapped it in this camo pattern. Uh, now, I don't think that they created this camo pattern just for Toys R Us. I'm pretty sure uh, that they actually created this uniform set when they were like prototyping out Action Man. Uh, like the, the Hasbro action man that uses the Hall of Fame body. Uh, but I could be mistaken. Maybe they created it for rapid fire and then later it was used on action man. But uh, this is really just a kit bash figure. You know, you got the grunt head sculpt, cool light red flocking. Uh, when you open these figures after they've been sealed away for 30, 30, 30 to 33 years, uh, a lot of times the flocking will be affected if they were put in package wearing a helmet. So that kind of stinks, but you know, is what it is. Here is our accessories. Uh, we got the standard Hall of Fame um, knife with sheath, uh, the 45 with holster. We got a, a manual in there. Uh, this backpack is um, standard equipment that, that comes with the SWAT assault set. And, uh, you know, I have that right over there. And uh, also the same boots as the, the SWAT assault set. So um, you pop down this this tab right here, and there's a computer terminal in there. Uh, then we have multiple different launcher, you know, weapons: the M16, the the yeah, oh, rapid fire just 
went for a ride. <laughs> uh, we got the grappling hook. There's the hook. Cool goggles. Hall of Fame grenades. That spotlight pegs into the top of this uh, computer console backpack. And yeah, they just loaded it out with a little bit extra accessories and gave an ex exclusive uniform and some flocking to make the the uh, Toys R Us exclusive rapid fire uh, be more, um, you know, unique. All right, we got the Hall of Fame collection up here. Got rapid fire in place. I still need to put together a uh, version two staff member only uh, gung ho. You know, if you if you combine this gung ho right here with the uh, let's see jungle patrol mission gear set, and then you add in. Let's see, where do I got it? One of these flamethrower kits. Then uh, you have you basically have the uh, 1996 GI Joe convention staff member uh, gung ho. So got to put one of those together, and then also I'm building a collection where I take Hall of Fame bodies and put mission gear sets on them. So uh, I got four of them. Still need to do another ten or so. But uh, yeah, that's Mike's, Mike's GI Dojo, just checking in, showing you guys rapid fire. Have a good weekend.